Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Yandlow. If you're new and if you're returning, thank you so much. Uh, so I just want to film film a uncensored, unedited video of me just chatting away, talking to you about some common questions that I get as a vegan. Uh, I'm sure you've probably received a bunch yourself if you are new to being vegan or if you've been vegan forever. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on some of these questions. So, uh, let's just dive right in. We're going to be hearing a lot of dings and beeps from my um, emails that are firing off and stuff, but I'm going to keep them all in. So, um, I hope you guys don't mind. Hopefully it doesn't get too noisy. Um, I'm really not, not usually this popular. Okay, anyways, we're going to start. So... Uh, a couple of questions that I often get surrounding, around, surrounding being vegan is usually about nutrients, vitamins, where are you getting your protein, where are you getting your iron, where are you getting your calcium, um, blah, 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 a, a ton of questions. Now, those are valid. I think that for the most part, you want to remember that um, the people that are usually asking you for the most part, I and mean, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt here, but for the most part, they probably are asking because they're genuinely caring about you and your health. Um, you know, it goes without saying that there are a lot of accidentally vegan products out there, right? Like Oreos, for example, are vegan. You know, you could go to the store right now and buy a whole packet of Oreos and, um, and eat that for lunch and be like, yeah, that was a vegan meal. Is it healthy for you? No. Is it a whole food? No. Would I recommend eating that every day? Absolutely not. But there's nothing wrong with having an Oreo or two here and there and like wanting to treat yourself to some vegan treats. Um, but it's really important and I'm, I'm super adamant on encouraging um, my viewers and just people in general to be focusing on eating well, eating healthy, eating a healthy whole food plant-based diet um, or leading that lifestyle because that's what really gives you nourishment. Uh, and I'll be set, I'll be put, posting up more videos as well, um, just based on like what I eat in a day. If you're interested in some recipes and stuff, but uh, yeah, I just I want to encourage that. There's nothing wrong with having treats, and I'm not saying you shouldn't. Um, hey, I love an Oreo uh, here and there for sure, uh, especially that Easter just passed. Um, my mom bought me some Oreos, so I did have a few. But that's not an everyday thing, you know. Um, so you know the people that are asking you about nutrients and vitamins. I think that they're just asking because they, they don't know. And, uh, you know, it, I think it's it's our job if they're asking to give them an honest answer. Uh, for me, I do not take any other vitamins except for I do like taking a probiotic. I think probiotics are excellent to take. Um, I really enjoy taking uh, a what's the supplement? Um, <laughs> oh, B12. That's right. I take a B12 spray. It's great because you can just carry it around in your bag when you're on the go. Um, as vegans, we usually don't get as much B12, mainly because of the fact that if you are a vegan, you're not obviously going to be consuming any meat. And that's usually where we find a lot of the B12 concentration. But um, in a B12 supplement, uh, there are two different kinds. There's the methylcholobamin and cal Calicolabamin? So, okay, one starts with an M, one starts with a C. I cannot remember the names, forgive me. I'll post them down below in the comment, or in the, in the description. Those are two forms. Uh, you want the methylcholabamin, but that is found um, in many different um, like supplements, and you can get it in like a spray form. That's what I like to take. So I take a probiotic and a B12 supplement. And then during cold and flu season, I like taking vitamin C, for extra immunity boost, and then a uh, vitamin D as well. Vitamin C and vitamin D work together, uh, and it's really excellent to take. I live in Canada, and you know it's not always snowing here, as a lot of people think. It's we get really nice days, and it's warm and sunny. But it's important to know. Oh, but I like fix my legs. Um, it's important to note that um, you know in the winter we don't get a ton of sun, and you know, you do want to make sure that you're getting those vitamin, those extra vitamin Ds. So I like taking a vitamin D and a vitamin C during the cold and flu season. Uh, and then of course, uh, I usually take my, uh, my B12 supplements 
few times a week. If I forget, it's no big deal. What ends up happening is uh, you, your B12 is actually stored within your system for five years. So that means that my B12 reserve from when I wasn't from when I wasn't vegan has just run out this year. I've been vegan for five years. So now I'm just needing to really focus on making sure that I get that B12. And I also like getting my B12 from nutritional yeast. It's very high in, um, in B12. I'll link, leave a link down below about nutritional yeast and why it's so great. I enjoy sprinkling that on popcorn, pasta. Um, I've even made, um, made it into uh, like, a, like a salad dressing before. My mom's done that. It's really good. So I highly recommend it. Uh, okay, on to the next question because I'm already five minutes in and I've only answered the first question. Okay, um, all right, this is a good question for all um, the females out there. Um, I, I receive this question quite a bit as well. Um, did you lose your period when you were going vegan? Um, no, I did not. Um, I think everybody's body is completely different. Um, and it also depends on your age and uh, your, you know, your stage in life. I think what people forget is that um, as women, uh, you know, there's many different changes that can affect our cycle. So um, stress, um, anxiety, sometimes even travel, um, all of those things can definitely affect your cycle. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I, I, I never experienced any issues surrounding that. If anything, I actually saw a huge improvement. Uh, I wasn't receiving as, you know, bad, uh, cramps around my time of the month. I also, uh, found that my cycle was much shorter. So it went from like a full seven day cycle to like five days and it wasn't very heavy. So that was great. And, um, yeah, I, I also just wasn't feeling as ill. I know, um, when I was, when I wasn't vegan, I, I definitely felt really sick around that time of the month and, and now I don't experience it as much and, um, my cramps have definitely lessened. So I, again, I, I just, I want to say like, I, I'm not a doctor and I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. Uh, but I never received any issues regarding that. And, and I think it's important to note as well that, you know, if you, are going vegan, I, I always say you need to make sure that you're eating well and eating healthy whole foods and uh, your body will, will will get used to that. But if you aren't, you know, receiving the proper amount of food and you're not eating as much and um, maybe you're just eating a pack of Oreos in the day and um, thinking that that's okay or, you know, you're, you're not filling your body with healthy whole foods, um, healthy vegan foods, then um, you may not be receiving the benefits that you're looking for. So I just, yeah, your food is your medicine. Your food is your medicine, friends. Um, so to answer that question again, no, I did not lose my period. Uh, sorry for anyone who didn't want to hear that, but it's a, it's a not normal biological function for us women. All right. Um, let's see. I take any vitamins. I already asked, answered that. And, oh, this is an excellent one. I receive this a lot. How much should I eat in a day? Okay. I am a firm believer that if you are hungry, that's your body telling you to eat. Uh, there's a difference between, like, obviously being bored and just choosing to munch on something, but your body actually being like, oh, yeah, my stomach's rumbling, I'm hungry, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Go for it. Eat. Um... Before I was vegan, I struggled a little bit with a disordered eating mindset where I struggled with body dysmorphia, which is something I still um, am feeling the remnants of now today. Um, if you're not familiar with body dysmorphia, basically body dysmorphia is when you see yourself in a very drastically different way than other people might see you. And... Uh, you, you focus in on your flaws and that's all you see. So, you know, you, you kind of obsess over it. So for the longest time, I was super obsessed with my height and being short. I'm only 5'1", so that's tiny, but I used to obsess over it because I thought, well, if I gain some weight, then I will really, really be able to tell. Um, I suffered with severe cystic acne and that really affected my mindset as well. So even when my acne clears up, um, I still feel like I'm scared of getting a spot. 
Um, and when I get a spot, I do get really nervous about that. Um, so yeah, in, in regards to going vegan, I think going vegan really changed my whole mindset, my perspective on health because before I was always worried about calories and, and counting calories and I did. I, I wrote everything down. I remember I had a diary for um, for a couple years uh, <laughs> and I would write down everything that I ate that day down to like a half an apple or half a banana. Like in my mind, like I went back, I found it and I was like, wow. Like, you're not going to eat the full apple. Like, you're not going to eat the full banana. Like, that's healthy for you. But we get, like, stuck in this terrible mindset. This, like, it's like a hamster wheel of, like, oh, well, that's not good for you. You know, bananas are carbs. That's going to make you fat. Um, an apple is a carb. That's going to make you fat. When the truth is that if it's a healthy whole food and you're eating well, your body is taking in that nutrients and... And it's good for you, right? Our, our cells run on carbohydrates, on sugars, right? I mean, a pack of Sour Patch Kids is going to be completely different than eating an apple, you know? Eat the apple, right? It's whole food. Eat the Sour Patch Kids in moderation. I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, if you're hungry, eat. I eat when I'm hungry. I eat whenever I want um, to eat. I just try to make sure that my the food that I'm eating is a healthy, well-balanced, whole food diet, right? Um, so for example, I'll give you guys an example here, especially for um, the newbies. But, you know, if I go to my grandparents' house, I'm Italian. And so we, uh, you know, being Italian, being in Mediterranean culture, uh, we definitely like to eat uh, a lot of like bread and pasta and um, there's always meat on the table there's always cheese and olives and all these like very um rich foods and so for me like my plate might look like some gluten-free pasta with sauce right red sauce on top um tomato sauce and then I'll have like a whole bunch of salad on my plate right and for me like I'm talking like two or three handfuls of leafy greens salad and like you know a couple handfuls of pasta right and then maybe some beans on the side as well right um maybe a couple handfuls of beans or whatever and nutritional yeast that might be what I choose to have or my mom loves making um like a vegan shepherd's pie that's one of my favorites actually so that might be my dinner right for a lot of people, they'll be like, whoa, that's a lot, Amanda. Like, you're going to eat all that? Like, whoa. Or like, I'll get seconds, right? But because those foods are not as calorie dense, I can eat more, right? Um, I'll actually, I'll leave a link down below to um, the starch solution where they talk about um, calorie density. It's so important to think of that because if you're eating, you know, a handful of, um, for example, I don't know, like a handful of almonds, that's going to fill you up differently than like a handful of, um, this is gross, you wouldn't do this, but you get the point, like a handful of like oil or something, you know what I mean? It's, it's different in calorie density. So it's important to consider that when you're eating. If you're hungry, eat, you know, um, don't restrict yourself as long as you're eating healthy whole foods. Um, I would highly recommend eating a lot of greens. Um, so fruits, vegetables like bananas, apples, peaches, oranges, nectarines. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of frozen fruit. Being in Canada, we don't get a lot of luscious, delicious fruits um, at our, you know, at our leisure in the grocery store. So I get a lot of frozen fruit. So I like getting like frozen berries and um, I love frozen pomegranate. It's delicious. Uh, frozen cherries are so good. Frozen mango, make a nice smoothie. Um, I love cooking up spinach and mushrooms up in a pan and making a nice, like, delicious, um, you know, like pasta dish with that or, you know, eating healthy whole foods, you know, vegetables, fruit, um, grains, beans, legumes. If you like seeds and nuts, add that in. If you want some avocado, there are so many different options for you. Um, but if I can give you 
when it you know one piece of advice as a vegan if you take anything away from this video as a new vegan I would say do not restrict yourself and what you're eating eat till you're satisfied as long as you're eating healthy whole foods you have nothing to be afraid of and um, if you're looking to um, you know lose weight that weight will come off naturally um, just stay patient and um, listen to your body uh, all right, I think that that's my cue because I'm getting all these emails coming up. But I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. And this is a bit of a ramble. I've never done anything like this before where I've just kind of gone off on a bit of a, I, I call it like a tangent, um, a bit of a tangent. Um, I've never done anything like this, but I thought it was appropriate for me to do because I get these questions all the time and I just, um, I know that some people will benefit from it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are looking for more information or maybe you want a little bit more um, of an idea of like what I eat in a day and recipes and things like that or research then please leave me a comment down below because I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to engage with you as my audience and of course um, I'll be leaving information down below as well in regards to calorie density and uh, the starch solution. Dr. McDougall's phenomenal and uh, he, do he does talk about that within some of his uh, his documents so definitely check it out. Anyways, I thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe or hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I post every single Sunday. So hope to see you back next week. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.